così Nine one one. That's the emergency hotline number you can dial when you call for help. Authorities patterned it after Davao City's central nine one one. It's the hotline for any type of emergency, from needing medical, fire, rescue services to police assistance. For now, the National Telecommunications Commission says it's still improving the system so it can cover more areas. Within the month of August, the Cebu 911 center will be uh, made operational. I think there are other LGUs that will be putting up their own command centers. The main department running at the Department of Interior and Local Government will connect the caller to emergency, rescue, police or fire agencies. For now, all calls to 911 will be rerouted to 117, the current national emergency telephone. Phone number. Later on, kasama na dito yung mga CCTV o yung mga closer to television na magmo-monitor ng mga public places. Just imagine for the entire country, 15 operators lang. Thousands of calls coming in, nahirapan sila. Okay. So immediately, gagawin natin 30 and by mid-August magiging 45. Eventually, the 911 program will be implemented in the entire country. No area codes are needed. But with the new hotline comes some challenges like prank callers, and traffic. In Davao City, responders should be dispatched in less than 59 seconds. Senator Richard Gordon, who's also the chairman of the Philippine Red Cross, says it takes about eight minutes to arrive at the scene. But that depends on how far the areas are. We're talking about the Philippines here. If there's an earthquake here, we're now in the process of establishing a humanitarian corridor where our volunteers on either side of the highway will go out. They will have signage that says this is a humanitarian corridor. Please give way to all emergency vehicles. As for the prank calls, Gordon says Senate will look into imposing penalties on prank callers. Globe Telecom wants to charge five pesos per call, while PLDT Smart says discussions are still ongoing with the government. Anna Estanislao, CNN Philippines. Also to be launched on Monday is Hotline 8888. Palace says it is the Filipinos' direct line to Malacanang for complaints.